Là-bas, il n'y a pas de vendeur à la sauvette. about uh, uh, the differences between uh, France and US. We have something called the Green Keys. Yes. So we have Green Keys, which is North American. So that's both uh, America and Canada. And a lot of big chains are really trying to, you know, like really trying to, to follow suit. So you have both boutique hotels and big chains trying to, to follow suit. Then you have the airlines getting on board as well. But I am very surprised that the Hotel Gavarni is the first independent hotel to be European Eco Label certified in all of Paris. I mean, that's just, I mean, that's just completely surprising given that this is the most traveled to city in all of, in the world. Eco tourism is definitely in the consciousness because uh, it looks like businesses um, from small boutique hotels um, to larger chains have recognized that when given a choice, consumers will, will choose Eco. They will choose it. If, if they're aware of it and if they're given a choice. Now, they won't choose it over luxury or comfort. It has to go hand in hand. There's a certain caliber of traveler, um, both the business traveler and the luxury traveler, that will um, feel a lot better if they know that they're staying, say, on a property that does carbon offsets like Hotel Gavarni does, you know, or, or recycles, you know, something like that, just because then it's, it, it's less of a, of a footprint for them, and so they can, you know, you can just feel a little bit better about all those business trips that you take, or, or even, you know, the family vacation that, yeah. that you're doing, so, okay. yeah. Uh, definitely, I, I definitely think it's in the consciousness, and I think it's it's only getting, uh, it's only growing. The consciousness and the awareness is only growing right. and becoming a bigger sector. It's definitely a question of public information campaigns and public awareness, and letting people know that they have a choice. It's reaching the everyday people. In the states, I would have to say that it's becoming. Um, it's becoming very mainstream because, um, like for example, Walmart, which there's, you know, what's more mainstream than Walmart, yes. right? Yeah. They just uh, they just made the news last week saying that they've decided to pledge to purchase more locally grown food. Do you think it's a commitment or it's just because it's fresh? You know, I, you know, I get that question a lot, especially on, on doing the vlog Greening Hollywood, and honestly, um, my... My response is exactly what my response yeah, is. It doesn't so matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have a look at this beautiful view. Ah, this is a view that you just can't pay for. <laughs>